You will do as you're told, unless of your lippy are out on your ear. I hope the dragon gets you in the night. Dragon? What dragon? It's just a legend. There's supposed to be a terrifying dragon living in the ice passages underneath Ice World. I knew there must be a reason why you brought us here. You want to see the dragon, don't you? Oh, really, Mel, it's fascinating. Travellers claim to have seen it throughout the centuries, but there's never been any proof. <laughs> like the Loch Ness Monster? Loch. Loch. You're going to go looking for the dragon? Absolutely. Oh, cool, can I come too? Won't you get into trouble with your boss? Oh, I'm fed up with being a waitress. Oh, go on, Professor, let me come too. Well, I don't see why not. Ace! And can we search for the treasure too? Treasure? Yeah. The dragon's supposed to be guarding a fabulous treasure. Oh, treasure? What treasure? You don't want to go believing in myths and legends, Doctor. Who asked you? We're not talking to you. No, if you want my opinion, all this talk of treasure and dragons, it's all a load of old space dust. Well, if you're so convinced it's all rubbish, why have you been burning holes in this treasure map for the last two days? He says he lost the money in a game of cards. I know he lost the money in a game of cards. The game was fixed. What about the map? He's convinced it's genuine. Excellent. He'll soon realize that if he wants to see his spacecraft again, he has no alternative but to go after the treasure. And when he does, I shall be with him every step of the way. There's just one thing. Yes? He appears to have two colleagues. Colleagues? I thought he sold his entire crew. They're not from his crew. Space travelers, a man and a girl. Do you want them eliminated? Not for the moment, I think. There's no reason for them to suspect that the seal on the treasure map contains a tracking device. Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Looks like something from a jumble sale to me. Oi, there's nothing snide about this document. If you don't want to go and believe nothing you get from him, Professor, he probably bought 200 of them in a job lot. Do you mind? This is the real McCoy, this is. It comes from an unimpeachable source. What's that, then? That means it is beyond reproach or question. I know what unimpeachable means, bird bath. But what makes you so certain this map's pedigree is 24 carat? Because I acquired it from a man of character and distinction. How? I won it in a chess match. You won it playing cards. Doctor, it's a waste of time. He won it in a card game. An honest transaction. The man was desperate not to lose this map, so I know it's something very, very tasty. It shows the lower levels of Ice World. Well, no one goes down there anymore. Too dangerous. The ice garden, the singing trees. But like <laughs> the girl says, Doctor, it's too dangerous. Where's your sense of adventure glitz? What, do you, do you want to go here? The, the Lake of Oblivion? Where? Death of eternal darkness? Oh. Dragon fire? <laughs> I should stop at home if I were you, Doctor. Oh, this sounds brill. My sentiments precisely. What's your name, incidentally? Everyone calls me Ace. Oh, how do you do? I'm the Doctor, and this is my friend, Mel. And we're really going to go looking for dragons? Too risky, if you ask me. Nonsense, Glitz. Time for a quick adventure, then back for tea. Ace, that's the spirit, Doctor. Hang about. You can't go without me. That's my map. And I don't want these girls coming along either. What? It's too dangerous. Professor? And since it's my map... Right. You male chauvinist bilge bag. Just you wait. Oh, nice. And I was so looking forward to meeting a dragon. Oh, it's all right, Doctor. You go on ahead. I'll wait here. And if Glitz burns his fingers in the dragon's fire, then it serves him right. It's just you and me then, Doctor. 